Hi friends, it's Tracy Finn of Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to complete my week three check-in for the month of March. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. I consider a week from Sunday to Saturday and so for me this is wrapping up the third week for March. I don't have any plans for today, so I'm going to go ahead and call Saturday a wrap. I have a lot of work I need to do. So let's jump into my transactions. I hope you all are, you know, doing well today. It has been a busy week, y'all. Busy, busy, busy. So for laundry, I broke a 10. And then from there, I went to Walmart. This is really one transactions, the groceries and the household at Walmart, but I can split those up. So in groceries, I bought $43.34. In household supplies, I paid $21.99. I cannot remember what I bought for household. Whatever it was, I thought it was important. <laughs> and then um, at the end of the trip, we had to go to CVS and household supplies and it was 656 now i do remember this this was the um you know the little pocket kleenex i needed some of those i like to have some in my car and i didn't have any and then i also on groceries for aldi i spent twenty dollars and forty four cents um, i from walmart this week i tried to do something that's a treat for my sons um they like beef tips and rice some reason they don't like it with noodles i don't know but they're weird i guess i shouldn't have said that but you know they are they, they, i don't know <laughs> but they wanted that with rice and it's one of those i can eat a hamburger every once in a while but i can't do beef like that and make my stomach hurt so let's add up the groceries was 43.34 plus twenty dollars and 44 cents and so i spent sixty three dollars and seventy eight cents total for groceries for the week and so if you're new to my channel and you're wondering how i keep my grocery bill so low i don't pay for my son's snacks they are responsible for buying the snacks. If I had bought their snacks, um, I wouldn't have any money. Three hundred dollars wouldn't do it. <laughs> I don't know if it would make it for one trip. Okay, so they put all this together so I can see how much money I got left. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some math. Got all these ones. Okay, so I had 181 left over. I spent 63.78. So I should have 117.22. It's 50, 70, 90, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116. I have 117. The changes in my little change patch over here I just combine all that and I use it as I go to the different stores I don't save it or anything so what I'm going to do is go ahead and write my budgeted amount for week four which is going to be another seventy dollars and so this is what I'm going to work with and all of this is what I'm going to put up because you guys know I tried to save $60 from my cash envelopes total. And this helps me with that. I got a coupon. I've been carrying this thing around. I have to remember to pull it out and use it. I think I've relegated it to money holding. I don't know what I am doing. But yeah, the paperclip hips helps hips helps <laughs> me from um touching that money back there lets me know that's the boundary no spending okay 
So we got 117. Let's put that here. Now, the next thing for restaurants, I didn't spend anything. And I had $40 last week. I should have $40 now. Been waiting on them to come into the apartment. They got to do something. $20, $40. Been waiting all week. They're going to come on a day when I'm just like, I don't want to be bothered. So I'm going to come off as being like a grouch. So for laundry... I spent ten dollars. I had thirty-five dollars minus ten. I should have twenty-five dollars left. Look at that ugly too. Where's my white out? This is like an every Saturday thing. And then I get so frustrated. Put you right there. I don't know why I can't make it too early in the morning gonna go with that kind of two because <laughs> I can't do it the other way um so I should have twenty dollars left in my laundry envelope twenty five god dog it man okay twenty five dollars I'm sorry I just take myself all the way off god hey come on it's too early for this I hope my neighbors can't hear me But I didn't cut, so that's good. So 25. There. Get my math right. And let me put that back in here. Now, my laundry and restaurants don't, um, aren't a factor in the rollover money that I use to help pay debt. Um, those two I tend to need. Laundry, um, not laundry, but restaurants, I don't give myself that much. And since we've been working from home, um, I haven't had to spend it. But once I break into the 20s, I'm getting myself something from somewhere. I think I'm getting catfish or something like that. Something that I don't need that's going to make my stomach hurt. Um, household. I budgeted 25. Well, I can look at that until I went over 25. So $21.99 plus $6.56. I spent twenty eight fifty five, and I had fifty dollars last week, so I should have twenty one or twenty two dollars, and so I have twenty two. Now, household is one that I will roll over to help me get my 60 bucks it's like a little game that I play to see how much I can save for my cash envelopes all of my stuff is really really streamlined so I can't do um, savings challenges because I don't really have a lot of excess I struggle to get that 60 so it was 22 I lost my place I'm sorry oh Restaurants. I'm not going to budget anything for restaurants next week. Laundry is another 10. Household. I don't think I need anything. Because I got detergent and some other stuff. Do I need anything personally? I'll leave personal blank until I figure out if I need anything. So... For personal this week, I didn't buy anything. Let's get that out of the way. I didn't get anything in the personal category. So I had $31 left over. So I should have $31. $20.31. So I still have that. but So it's groceries. Household and personal. It's those three categories that I try to get a minimum of $60 saved from my cash envelopes. Um, and anything over is just a little bit more that goes to my debt. Oh my 
<laughs> it may seem small to some people, but if you add that up, that I do that every month, just doing the bare 60, it's an extra $720 per month. Now, most of the time, I'm able to get over 60, so it's more than that that I actually can add to my student loan debt or whatever debt that I was paying at that time. I don't know if I need anything. I just was thinking about it. I don't know. So I'm going to still leave that uh, blank until I can figure if I need anything because sometimes I'll figure it out once I wash my hair and blow my hair out. Uh, I may need ponytail holders, but I don't think I need any of those. Do I need any more headbands? Because that's what I stretch out. Hmm. I'll just do $10 um, because I may need the little stretchy headbands. All right, so let's go back to the calendar view and let's document our nose bands. I have a lot of work I need to do today. So I know I am going to be sitting right at home. I also need to clean out my car today. But I only went shopping on the 21st. And different people do their nose spins differently. Um, the way I do my nose spins, I try to keep it simple for myself. It's the fact that I didn't shop at all with my cash envelopes. Now, if you see I'm paying bills, <laughs> that's not me spending from here. Because this is where I had the problem. Uh, once I got my budgeting and stuff started, spending up all my cash like early in the month and not having much towards the end of the month but others their no spend days may be overspending like they had their budget and so if they went over that doesn't count as a no spend but the rules are up to you for how you want to do your no spend days I just try to keep my happy self out of a store because just browsing ends up being I have a basket full of stuff okay and let's put this down and oh I got my March kit in the mail so yeah I knew they were holding my stuff hostage I knew it I knew it I knew it there so I got six no spins for the week. And so that is, I'm sitting here looking, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> so it's uh, 24 no spins so far. So I got three more that I can get next week. I'm getting pretty good at this. I need to start trying to see if I can reduce the number of times that I go to the grocery store. But yeah, my goal for the month is 27. There's something else that's nagging me and I found out what it was I need to section this off so that way you guys can see the difference in my transactions so I've been thinking for April I have my April kit so I am going to just set up my planner to do my weekly check-ins and the calendar because I think this is pretty um, this page my dashboard I won't do this page these two pages will go for April will be what I put in here for April not these two I'm going to use the budget by paycheck book in April and then these two I need to check but maybe these two and then that might be it as I transition out. But anywho, thank y'all for watching. I hope you have a super fantastic day. Enjoy the sunshine. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great one. Bye.